Hey, church family. Wanted to jump on and just give you an update about our plan to relaunch on-campus, in-person worship gatherings uh, here at our campus on Wilson Dam Road. Uh, we shared with you several weeks ago, you know, that our plan was to relaunch this coming Sunday, May the 31st, and we've been working hard toward that day. You know, as I think about these last three months, uh, these have been some of the most challenging times uh, I've ever encountered in ministry. Um, I- I've dealt with more serious issues, and I've led this church through more serious struggles and battles, but this season has been so different because it is just something you just couldn't prepare for. Um, almost everything else I've ever encountered in ministry, there were things back in my days of education through times of experience, and then even leaning into the counsel of other pastors where you're able to glean wisdom and knowledge and understanding and, and how to handle things. But when it comes to a global pandemic, uh, there, there's just no book on that. Um, that's not something that was ever discussed uh, at any point during any of my formal education. Uh, It's nothing I've ever experienced uh, during my years of ministry. Um, And it's not one of those things you can pick up and call another pastor and go, how did you handle this? This is all brand new. Uh, And so it's been challenging. At the same time, it's been exciting because God has opened doors for us that that probably would not have been opened had it not been for this. Um, But having said that, uh, one of the personal struggles for me has just been the separation from from you, uh, the the body of Christ that we call Highland Park. Um, you you really are my family, and so not getting to see you, not getting to spend time with you, has been a real struggle. Um, and, and then week by week, preaching to uh, nothing but a camera um, has has is something I've just personally battled and struggled with. And so I, I have longed for the day that we could return together again. You know, when we shared with you a few weeks ago. Uh, our relaunch strategy on the 31st, we told you then that we weren't immediately relaunching. Uh, Some other churches in our area and across the country uh, relaunched uh, there on the 17th or even some on the 10th. And um, and it was not for us, it was not a right, wrong, or indifferent thing. We just said we wanted to take a couple of extra weeks to really evaluate the situation and see how things were changing as our governor had lessened our restrictions. And And so through this time, we've been monitoring that. Um, And I want to let you know that today uh, we have made the decision, and it has not been an easy decision. Um, It's not been a decision that that I personally wanted to make, but we have made the decision to postpone our relaunching of on-campus in-person worship. Um, And the reason is simply because there is a growing number of cases in Colbert County Um, I don't know how closely you've been following the numbers, but in the last two weeks, over the last 14 days, um, our cases in Colbert County have more than doubled. 14 days ago, there had been 72 positive cases in our county. Um, As of this morning, there are now 155 positive cases. Uh, When I first started seeing some of those numbers increase, my natural inclination was, well, we're just testing more people. And we are. Um, but the number of positive tests are increasing at a much higher percentage than the number of overall tests. Um, Over the last 14 days, uh, we have tested about 50% more people um, during that time, Uh, but our number of positive tests have increased over 100%. Uh, We have now, just even yesterday, we had the highest single-day increase in positive tests in Colbert County that we've had through this process. And in the last five days, we've had three of the the four largest single-day increases. Um, Honestly, in our county right now, we are spiking. Um, And as we begin to watch that and monitor that, as as I begin to talk to other pastors and and even some of our healthcare professionals, I begin to just sense that maybe we needed to postpone. But again, in my heart, that was not something I even wanted to really consider um, because I am longing uh, to be back preaching to you live here in person. I'm longing to, for us to worship together again. Um, but as we continued to evaluate this over the last couple of days, uh, I, I met last night for some time via Zoom with our deacon body. 
um, and just shared with them some of this data and, and sought counsel. The Bible tells us that in a multitude of counselors, there's wisdom. And uh, I am so thankful to God for those men and the counsel and the wisdom they provide. And after meeting with them, after several meetings with our lead team, we just feel that the best piece and the best thing for us to do right now is to postpone this. Uh, now, I know that's not going to be popular with all of you. Um, one of the struggles of this season has been trying to balance um, our biblical responsibility to gather. And we do have a biblical responsibility to gather. Um, to balance that versus our biblical responsibility to submit to those in authority over us, um, our governing officials. You know, we do have a biblical mandate that we're to submit to them as to the Lord. Um, and so trying to balance those things, trying to balance the need for the church to gather versus our responsibility to genuinely love our neighbor and to care for our neighbor. Um, I, I will tell you that we've now had two members of our church who have tested positive, and, and that's all come to light in the last couple of days. And um, I, I've watched some other churches across the country who relaunched services only to have an outbreak um, and then have to close down again. And so as we've just really looked at all of these different scenarios, as we've looked at all of this data, as we've sought input from experts, um, we genuinely feel uh, our, our staff leadership, our, our deacon body, our, our, many of our key leaders in the life of our church, that the best thing for us to do right now is to postpone relaunching our own campus uh, worship gatherings. Um, again, it's not something I really want to do, uh, but it is something in my heart that I feel is best. Um, I will tell you that after we made the final decision this morning in, in a staff leadership meeting, right after I got off of that Zoom call with our staff, I, I got a phone call from someone else who had no idea that I was even considering delaying. And we were having a conversation and just about something totally unrelated. And in that conversation, he asked me, he said, when are you planning to relaunch? And and I said, well, we were planning this Sunday, but we've just made the decision to, to postpone that because of the rising number of cases in Colbert County. And he shared with me, he said, well, I'll tell you another church in our area that did relaunch a couple of weeks ago and the day after relaunching um, had someone who then called them and said, hey, I just tested positive today and I was in the service yesterday. And, and so getting that news right after we made the final decision, I just took that as a word of comfort from God and a word of confirmation. And so I wanted to communicate to you and let you know uh, what kind of led to this decision. Um, we, we had great numbers. As a matter of fact, our two early services for this coming Sunday, one was already full and I think one now has about less than 10 spots available. Um, so I know a lot of you were planning to join back with us. I know this is going to be a blow for some of you. Uh, and uh, I, I just believe this is one of those times where we need to err on the side of caution uh, we need to genuinely love our neighbor as ourself, um, and we need to care for our community. And I think the best way we can do that uh, is to hold off on our public gatherings until this spike begins to wane. Um, so that's we wanted to let you know that. Uh, if you've got questions, uh, concerns, you can feel free to reach out to us. Um, you can contact us here in our office, and uh, we'll be giving you more updates as time goes on. Um, I'm not sure when we will begin to reevaluate regathering again, uh, but for right now, we will remain strictly online only until further notice. So Sunday morning, 10.30, we'll be live right, uh, right on Facebook, on YouTube, and on our website. And so you're going to continue to worship at home with your family um, until the whole family is able to gather here again, um, hopefully in, in a short matter of time. But we'll keep you updated. Keep praying for us. Keep praying that God will give us wisdom as we make decisions concerning what's best for our church, what's best for our community, um, and what's best for the kingdom. Uh, so we wanted to let you know this Sunday we will be online only. Uh, 1030 uh, will be our live broadcast, and it'll be available in the archives on, on all of those different platforms following that. Uh, so you keep praying for us. We're praying for you. If we can help you in any way, please let us know. I love you. I cannot wait to see you again. Um, and thank you for your love and encouragement of me and of our staff as we continue to lead during this time. 
so have a great week. Uh, Sunday morning, 1030 online, and one day, hopefully soon, we're going to gather again here in person. I love you. God bless you.